Hello, sweet friends and crafters. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. I'm super excited to share with you today a project using Scrap Diva Design's mini scalloped envelope. I'm also going to have a tutorial to teach you how to put these together. These are super cute for holding tiny little gifts and they would also look really cute as Christmas ornaments in your Christmas tree. So you can purchase the die that I'm going to be sharing with you that I use for this project from www.scrapdivadesigns.com. Please use Carol 10 at checkout for 10% off your order. This right here is the die that you will receive and you get two sizes in there and you'll see both boxes are really cute, both the small and the larger one. I also use sentiments from the Peppermint sentiment die set. I used wishes and I used, I believe, sweet out of this set. And then the Christmas words too, I used Santa and joy. So those are good to have in your collection for when you're making tags or any kind of little boxes and presents to uh, put a little sentiment on there. All right, so let me go ahead and share with you these little gift boxes. So this is the larger one. And you can see, oops, <laughs> you can see here I have the word wishes. And this is what it looks like on the back. And you can tuck a little gift right in there. How cute is that? Some little lip balms or um Quite a few things would fit in that that would be a cute little gift to give someone. And then if you wanted to make this to hang on a tree, all you would have to do is punch a hole in the back and put some ribbon or little twine and hang it off your tree. Isn't that cute? And I do have a tutorial on how to make the poinsettia so I don't leave you hanging on that one. And... I'll show you the next one. I've got this little gingerbread box. Isn't that cute? It says sweet on there. And then another larger one I have is this one right here with Santa on it. Adorable, isn't it? Then we have the little ones. And look how cute that is. Um, here I just have some, most of these are stickers. This one is not a sticker. That's one I put together, I had in a, in a box, but most of these are just little stickers I pulled out of my stash. Isn't that cute? And I did pop up all the words on some two millimeter foam. That's what it looks like on the inside. Cute, right? Then we have this little Santa. And then we have this little one with the Christmas tree. This is also a sticker with the word joy popped up on foam. All right, so let's go ahead and make one of these. I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right, and I'm going to pull in what I have already cut. Okay, so this is the larger one, and it's going to be the same process to put it together for the little one. I will leave the uh, measurements below for the small box, and it's the same procedure for putting it together as this one. So you're going to cut one. This is just regular Georgia Pacific cardstock from Walmart. So you're gonna cut one of the envelope with the top, scallop top, and then the second piece you're gonna cut one on the white cardstock. Then on designer paper, you're gonna cut two because I put one in the front and one in the back. And then you're going to cut one of this and then you're going to cut a piece of just regular white cardstock at uh, one inch by six and seven eighths and you're going to score it at let's see two inches and then uh, four and seven eighths and as you can see here I just cut a little notch so that when you fold it up it's not bulky underneath it and then you're going to do the same thing with a designer piece you're going to cut it 
uh, six and seven eighths and score it, but don't cut it. Uh, it's six and seven eighths by uh, three quarters. I'm sorry, but I will have the correct um, the correct measurements in the description box below so that you will get it correct. All right. So all you do is you're going to put your box together. So I'm going to fold on the score lines here for this part. And this is usually for your envelope, right? But we're going to make it a little box. See that right there. And then you have this piece and we are going to put some liquid glue on it or you could put uh, some sticky tape. You get quarter inch uh, sticky tape to put on there. So I didn't tell you that you cut this at a inch and you score the long side a quarter inch and then you score it at two and then four and seven eighths. I didn't leave myself good enough directions, <laughs> but they will be in the description box correctly. So this is one inch scored at a quarter inch on one side, then two and then four and seven eighths. So we're just going to lay this on top of here like this and you want to bring it right to the edge as close to the edge as you can get it and then seal it down and then turn it this way because you're going to go along the bottom and you're going to put it along the edge as close to the edge as you can get it and then seal it and then turn it up this way along the edge and seal it. So I need to go this way a little bit more. Here we go. All right. So now you've got your box forming. Now you have all these edges turned over. So to make it easy, we're going to put some glue on these flaps. And because my little box edges are covered, I am going to glue the flaps to the outside of the box. I've been having trouble with this nozzle lately. I might have to uh, take it and soak it in some hot water. Here we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just put it on the top like this and fit it right onto the top of that. Make sure your edges match up on the top. And I'm going to do this. And I'm gonna go down and seal it like that. All right, so now you have your little box all formed. And you're going to take one of the envelope and you're going to put some uh, liquid glue on it. And I see I didn't poke all my holes out 
this might be why my glue doesn't work right. <laughs> Poking the holes out. Oh, here we go. All right, and you're just gonna stick it. You'll see it. It'll fit in here because you put the paper to the edge. You're just gonna put it inside, match up the holes, and then stick it down. Cool, right? Then we're going to go and put the second piece. Oh, look at some more holes. I thought I took those out. Oh, your timer went off. What are you going to do with it? Just stick that on the top of this match up the holes so it's nice and even and you seal that down and I see I have one hole right here not cleared out there we go I actually thought I poked them out before I did this, but that's okay. All right, now we're going to cover the front piece. And what you are supposed to do is cut this off. I do not have a pair of scissors with me. But you would cut these pieces off. And then you would put it right on top of here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to seal that on there like that because that just gave me an idea to put a little tag in there when giving this away, a to from tag. So I'm going, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on like that. So that's an option for you. It's a happy accident, right? And just put that right on the top of your little box. Doesn't want to seal down. I have to hold it for a second. <clears throat> All right, so now, for instance, my box, I have a little place to put a little tag that says to from. How cute would that be? All right, and then you're going to take this piece, which is the decorative paper for the outside edge of your box. You just put some liquid glue or some sticky tape on there, or tape runner, and you're gonna attach this. All right, and I usually start on the bottom and then come around to the top. box is coming together. And the next thing you want to do is, uh, I've got some little Santas right here. I'm going to put him right here, like that. And then I've already cut out the word uh, Santa from the Christmas 
words too and I'm going to put some glue behind him and you're going to just place it on the little box like that and then I have here a little poinsettia that I created and you don't have to do this but I put the little flower in the back here because I like the way it look and I have another flower because I'm going to put it right here you could put a snowflake there um, anything you want or just leave it plain but I'm going to put a, a little flower there just like this now your little box is complete and you are ready to fill it with a little goodie and if you did this like mine you got a little place to put a little tag which would be super cute sticking up that says to from on it so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you liked this project and until next time everyone happy crafting Bye bye